Hey everyone, uh, Bob Kennedy here. I'm the CTO here at uh, NewTerra. And uh, I'm going to be hosting uh, a webinar on February the 11th on emerging contaminants. And I thought I'd just uh, kind of take a walk through the plant today. We've got uh, two or three systems out in the plant right now that kind of address uh, some of these emerging contaminants. And I thought I'd show them before they get all packed up and, and shipped. So the, the first system that I want to show you is a, um, uh, it's a modular system. Uh, it's going to a remediation site uh, in the United States. And uh, basically at this site, they've, uh, they've got contamination in the groundwater with uh, petroleum constituents, uh, chlorinated solvents, and one pore dioxane. So this particular system has uh, several components to it. Um, it's got a pretreatment uh, section. Let's see if I can get a better shot at that. Oops, wrong way. Uh, better shot at that. So there's some oil water separators up front uh, to deal with some of the petroleum uh, uh, contamination uh, that's coming up as, as free phase. Uh, and then uh, there's a, uh, that's followed by a clarifier, well, which is one of uh, Nutera's uh, patented uh, uh, lung box uh, clarifiers. And you can see this will be sitting at the site um, on the skid outside in a, uh, uh, on a concrete pad. Uh, following the clarifier, um, the system has some uh, multimedia filtration. Uh, this starts the sort of containerized part of the system. I think there's, there's four containers involved um, in the system. But there's a multimedia step uh, here with a uh, uh, pumping station. The uh, multimedia filtration, um, the water moves into an advanced oxidation system. Uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, Rayox units. You can see mounted here uh, yeah, inside the container. Uh, and those are um, advanced oxidation you know, using uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's actually injected uh, into that stream before it runs through the Rayox units. It gives you uh, kind of an overall shot of uh, how the containers go together and, and make uh, kind of one, one large facility uh, when it gets put together. You can see the big openings that have been cut into the sides. And once the containers arrive on site and are put together, really you've just got kind of one, one facility uh, to work in. Uh, here you can see the uh, roll-up doors that are put into place so that the chemical can be easily switched out uh, uh, when required. And uh, obviously those are the containment units for the uh, chemical drums. We still have things like tetrachloroethane, uh, and other uh, chlorinated compounds in the in the water that are definitely, or in the water and in the ground, that are definitely cause us uh, big issues. This particular system here is uh, was designed uh, skid mounting system uh, designed uh, actually to went to a factory in uh, Bangladesh, um, and it's to remove uh, tetrachloroethane from the ground in the vapor phase. Um, and, uh, so, so So that's kind of our tour for today. Um, it's just kind of a of uh,
Thank you.